Hello, this is the recording for the assignment two of uh, learning and cognitions. The topic of this uh, presentation is engagement and branded uh, learning in higher education. The blended learning meanings of it is the uh, combinations of face-to-face -face classroom with and uh, online computers mediated uh, instructions. Understanding of learner characteristics in the online modality of learner learning is critical for curriculum development from the social constructivist theory of learning perspective in e-learning components involve online activities, learning through online communications, collaborations to improvements and uh, engagement, able to support a wide variety of learners with different abilities and proficiency. Curriculum's perspective, the proper design of instructional material matches learners' characteristics to help learners to achieve learning outcome. The learner engagement and the banner learning the education institutions to have a working team to look into the uh, blended learning framework to standardizations, implementations, delivery throughout the whole institutions, provide more opportunity to a larger student's population as face-to-face -face contact hours will most properly reduce from 30 to 70 percent depending on the curriculum that develops. For blended learning, learners who have good information computers, technology, proficiency, and uh, equipment will learn better. And uh, from a learner center perspective, the uh, instantaneous feedback, online tracking of learning progress, asynchronized and synchronized communications of learning, blended learning is added to its advantages. Blended learning have uh, proven to reduce drop out rate, learner more motivated to uh, improve engagement as determine owns learning pace and place. The indicators of uh, learner engagement in blended learning are cognitive engagement, emotional engagement, behavioral engagement, teaching present and engagement, learning activities and assessment on engagement, institutional presence on uh, engagement, group size of online discussion and engagement. Cognitive engagement is the extent to which learners construct meaning in their learning environments. Cognitive engagement is a brain-based process that controls and regulates uh, learners' behavior, such as attention, effort, persistence, concentrations, curiosity, learning styles, cognitive styles, prior background knowledge, capacity, working memory, personality, age, gender, verbal ability, writing ability, and spatial ability. Attention is the foundation for engagement. It describes the allocations of learner limited uh, perceptual ability and serves as a gatekeeper for the processing of information during the learning process. In a blended learning situation, the designer of instructional material may consider using intelligence tutoring system which can sense the diminishing attention of the learners and provide real-time feedback to both learners and instructor to improve learner engagement. A learner effort and persistence as well as time spent on learning a task are outward signs of the mental energy expended. 
research has uh, shown that students' level of engagement can predict their persistence in completing an education program. For the online components of blended learning, even though the lock-in times to a learning management system may not reflect the actual time spent on learning, but somehow it is still a good indicator of cognitive engagement in the learning process. Persistency is a phenomenon geared towards revisiting and spending time on difficult tasks, consistently completing tasks on time, which counter reacts the likelihood of attractions. The time spent on the task or the academically engaged time is the link towards achieving good learning outcome. The time spent on online quizzes, providing quality contributions to online forums, discussions or grocery have been proven to lead to better learning outcome. For the online components of blended learning, the average time spent on a content page is a good indicator of student engagement, where too little or too much time spent on the page to indicate this engagement. Last latest uh, research has indicated that the main drivers of students' persistence in completing online courses are learner anxiety level, learner satisfaction level during the learning process, effort and performance expectancy, engagement and behavioral intention, employer encouragement and the uh, institutional facilitation conditions. The meta cognitive strategy of learners' cognitive style involve the ability to know and regulate their own thinking processes as well as the concise, conscious uh, control of uh, cognitive processes such as uh, memory, attention, and understanding. It concludes self-care, self-assessment, self-regulation, self-awareness, self-explanation, self-monitoring, self-learning, and self-management. Mecta cognition is the key towards developing critical thinking skills that allow learners to be aware of their own learning process and how to improve on it. The higher order of metacognitive activities reflects the strategy applications of declarative, procedural, and conditional knowledge to task. Research has shown that an undergraduate nursing module using blended learning was successful in catalyzing nursing students to exercise metacognitive ability through higher order thinking in the forms of comprehensions, argumentations, and reasoning. Emotional engagement is the extent to which a learner feels positively about the blended learning courses manifested in the form of enjoyment, level of comfort, and interest in the course, and wanting to do better. The theories of self-determination and self-regulation are emotionally related, and learners' engagement are emotionally characteristic, which corresponds to individual positive emotions such as excitement, pressure, challenge, hope, satisfaction, pride, and relief. Learner have to systematically steer their thoughts, feelings, and actions towards the attainments of their goals. Negative emotion, which can negatively impact the learning process and outcome are such as anxiety, disappointments, fatigue, confusions, shame, despair, and anger. Learner anxiety are found to affect the levels of engagement. High quality learning requires emotion to act as a fuel for behavior and cognitive engagement. Two components models of emotional engagement, which comprises of positive 
emotional engagement and negative emotional engagement. Positive emotion assists learners to broaden their scope of actions, attentions, and connections. Positive emotional engagement assists learners to see the learners and interconnections and to process learning material in a more integrated and flexible fashion. Positive emotional engagement includes the factors of enjoyment or situational interest, happiness, and confidence. Enjoyment is motivated externally by short life, effective states created by students' learning efforts, while interest focuses attention, enhance cognitive performance and learning. Both enjoyment and interest spark off learner engagement to initiate the learning process. In Brenner Learning, the learner's higher level of engagement with the online components is delivered from the high level of enjoyment they experience. Research using data mining techniques have indicated that negative emotion and the anxiety from sitting for tests can leave a negative impact on student grades. And through the hierarchical segregation analysis, it was suggested that the negative emotions play a more important role than positive emotions. Learner happiness expressed in the momentary states of mild joy and contentment during their engagement in the learning task can increase creativity and cognitive performance. Learner who receive positive feedback and manage to resolve their confusions with the uh, feedback received on the problem, their performance tend to improve with subsequent problem. Learner who have a high level of confidence also display high levels of engagement reflected uh, by their self-assurance of their own abilities leading to lower levels of anxiety during their learning process and the willingness to exert efforts on uh, academic tasks. The learner ability to work with computers in blended learning, also known as a technical confidence, facilitates and uh, improves their engagement in the learning process to achieve higher learning outcome. Instructional material in blended learning should be designed to increase the learner's positive emotional engagement in consideration of the human aspect combined with the information computer technology. Behavioral engagement is the actions performed by the learner in blended learning of courses. Behavioral characteristics are based on the behavior of an individual during the learning process, such as time spent on learning or doing quizzes, other proactive behavior, incompatibility learners control, requiring help and feedback, work efforts such as practice and score, focus, abilities to function in a crisis, stress, and other similar characteristics. Behavioral engagement indicators do not support or prove learner engagement with instructional contents with other learner or with the instructor. Learners internal characteristics such as cognitions and emotions and their relationship with engagement are far more complex than the observable behavior of the learner. Teaching Presence and engagement, the learner's cognitive, emotional, and behavioral characteristic, combined with the teacher, teaching present, will affect engagement layer, levels. Teaching present is derived from effective curriculum developments, instructional design, and delivery. The instructional design and contents of the e-learning component in blended learning can affect learner's engagement, such as the media selections. The media selections will affect the interactions between learners and technology and also between learners, course, contents and instructor. From the social learning perspective, students increase their engagement where the curriculum design, content layout and media selections allow learners to interact with peers, participate in team-based assignments and discussion forums. 
learners are in favor of consistency in the e-learning components, where in experienced learners are in favor of detailed course instructions and do not value activity which are not tied to final grading, where else experienced learners appreciate the quality of the content. The instructors present when facilitating the e-learning component of blended learning will have an impact on learner engagement. The in, in a synchronous e-learning environment can lead students to develop various perceptions of the same instructions. Therefore, it is critical that an appropriate parameter is used for students to interact with contents and peers. Timely feedback and encouragement from the instructor may improve learner engagement. The amount of instructor guidance and learner's own self-guidance have to be at answer optimum ratio to achieve the best outcome of learner engagement. When strong relationships are built between learners and instructor, level of engagement will increase. In these situations, the instructor's personality does have an impact on the learning environment, regardless of whether it is a physical or e-learning class, and they are advised to remain flexible, adaptable, and open to new opportunity for improvements on the first year of the e-learning module. Students who lack the characteristic to succeed in the learning components of blended learning may fail to reach their personal goal and punish the instructor by giving poor evaluations of the course. Learning activities that varies with components that are challenging, interesting and meaningful can promote learners' engagement. Instructor delivery method facilitates engagement through activities such as online pools during live online classes, frequently changing their learning activities, including student presentations, and keep to the online office hour. E-learning engagement can be enhanced when learner collaborates on learning activities and coursework. The use of social media, such as Facebook or WhatsApp, or web services such as a Google Classroom, can provide the collaborative learning environment needed to support learner engagement in order to prevent the sense of isolation in an e-learning environment. The feedback from instructor to learners in social media helps to improve engagement level. Research has indicated that self-regulated feedback, which encourage further learning by asking questions, are more valuable than the peer-mediated feedback which focus on encouraging conversations and cooperative learning amongst learners. Feedback, which is timely, effective, and consistent, will increase learners' efficacy, leading to better engagement. The institutional practice and standard of procedure to support instructor practice is needed in these situations. Institutional present on engagement. Academic advice from instructions, instructor or counselor supporting tutorials, online library service, and information computer technology support all this affect learners' persistence and uh, engagement. When institutional practice are skewed towards meeting program needs rather than uh, learner needs, it will affect how a learner feels about their educational pursuit. When the institution's retention strategy is infected and the learner has lost the desire to persist, engagement will not occur. On the other hand, when the instructor and other institutional staff respond to the needs of the learner, their efforts will often lead to increased learner persistency. Group size of online discussions and uh, engagements. More structured discussion allow students to learn better, but are less effective in facilitating student engagement compared to a less structured discussions. Larger discussion groups are found to be more conducive to learning, but less able to engage students compared to smaller discussion groups. 
However, neither the discussion structure nor group size was found to influence either student engagement or learning independently, but they did have a significant interactions effect on both student learning and student engagement. There are very little consensus on the best practices for asynchronous online discussion despite their wide use and acceptance. Asynchronous online discussions occur independently of time and space. Participants do not have to be online simultaneously. They can read and contribute to the conversations in their own time. Learners' engagement and learning's outcome can be improved by making a course more intellectually stimulating. This is why educators and instructional designers should avoid trying to increase enrollment by simply making the course easier. Learners' engagement can be enhanced by incorporating formative assessment tasks in the blended learning components. Big data can be collected on the intelligence tutorial system to refine delivery. Practitioners who design and deliver the uh, blended learning curriculum must have a good understanding of engagement strategy to bring about students' education success, persistence, and completion of course. Thank you for listening to this presentation. Bye-bye.